Coleman. Yes, sir. Nick Birch. Yes, sir. Jane Coleman. Yes, sir. Leah Derbyshire. Yes, sir. They always say that your school days are the best days of your life. Whoever said that clearly went to a nice school than this one. This is my class, full of nasty girls, moody know-it-alls, and stupid popular kids. And then there's me. I'm Alexander. Please don't call me Alex. People only call me Alex when they don't know me. But I'm hoping sooner or later, you're going to be my friends. Because I don't have many. But that's okay. Because I don't think I want to be friends with anyone here anyway. Psst, Alex. Psst. Why are you ignoring me? Leave him alone. Oh, is he a friend? Alex, do you have a friend? My name is Alexander. Where should we sit for lunch? To my usual spot, of course. Did you see Alexander there? He was properly staring at Alice. Do you think he fancies her? Probably. And she kept staring at us. She's such a creep. The pair of them are. Maybe they could get together and become like this really great couple and get together at school and like read boring books or something. What the? Lily! 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 And so we say goodbye to Lily. And I know that for some of you this will have come as a tragic shock. Some of you have been friends with her since primary school. But it would appear that the clasp on the light in the drama theatre came loose and Lily was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. Everyone is so upset that Lily was the best friend, but we all know that they all hated her, just like they hate each other, and they all hate me. She was such a sweet girl. She always had a smile on her face. I don't think that it would be an exaggeration to say that Lily was my best friend. She gave me a hug once, it was the best hug ever. One time, she gave me some chocolate. I didn't know it was full of peanuts, but when I went into anaphylactic shock, I didn't hold it against her because I knew she didn't know I had an allergy to nuts. I mean, I told her once, but I forgive her for forgetting. I nearly died, but that's okay. Lily said that I was cool once. I'll never forget that. I miss her! You never even talk to her. I don't care. I really miss not speaking to her. I'll bet Millie loosened that light herself. That is so insensitive. I can't believe you said that. What's wrong with you? I used to just think you're weird, but you're actually just a nasty little boy. Settle down, settle down. Okay, answer to your names on the register for me, please. Do I have uh, Lily Austin? <gasps> that is so insensitive. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, sorry. Uh, Nick Birch? Yes, sir. Jane Coleman? Yes, sir. Did you see Miss Roberts at the picture? Oh my god, she was in floods of tears. I've always liked Miss Roberts, she's so nice. I couldn't stop crying. Honestly, I was just so upset. I haven't cried that much since my rabbit got kidney stones. What happened to your rabbit? You I mean, it's fine now, but it was a tough time. Sometimes, you've just got to let out your pain. And if Lily's death has done anything, it's when you've been able to let go of your pain. You're so right, Elena. Thank you, and you're such a good person, Nick. Thank you. Oi! Alex! What? Were you sat at the vigil? Of course, I wasn't. I heard Alex and Lily kissed in the lunch queue once. No, we didn't. Oi, Oi, where are you going? I'm off for a ciggy. I've been gasping since registration. Smoking since you wrote, you know. Tyrone! What? What was that you said about Lily? Nick, that was a secret. I heard Lily and Millie stole from the corner shop every morning before school, like sweets and chocolate and sometimes magazines. Nick, shut up! That was a secret! And then they would bribe people with them, like every time they wanted the homework doing, they'd be like, oh, do you want a chocolate bar? And you'd all be like, yeah, yeah, sure. But actually, they were stolen. Lily wouldn't do that. Honestly, she looks sweet, but you won't believe half the stuff she got up to. <laughs> Nick! Nick! I don't need a shot. What do you eat? Where's your pen? Wait, someone go and look at Nick's dying! Oh my god! Oh my god! What do we do? What do we do? <laughs> and then Nick died. The first ages were there within a minute. But by the time they got there, and it was already gone, and we all just stood there and watched. The police said that he had died of his nut allergy, but nobody knew how or why he had eaten any nuts. But everyone knew about his allergy, 
So what if someone, what if someone gave him nuts deliberately? Two in a week. That can't be a coincidence. Of course not. They all look like accidents, but they're clearly not. So who did it? Millie? Did she loosen that light? And she totally hated Nick because he was such a blabbermouth. Millie wasn't even in the canteen when Nick died. But did she poison Nick's food and then run away? It was very suspicious that she was the only person not there. It wasn't poison, stupid. It was just a nut. Maybe one single nut did it, or some peanut butter. So, who are our suspects? Well, I made this hang easy document. So, Lily was Millie's best friend. We all knew that she fancied Owen. But Owen is going out with Jane. But Jane is cheating with Chris. But Chris is Lily's next door neighbour and they hated each other. Millie might be a suspect, but would she really kill her only friend? And then there's Leah. She's horrible. But then she's horrible to everybody. So, what you're trying to say is that they could basically be anybody? Yes! So who's next? Next? Who said everything about next? Well, we're obviously dealing with a serial killer here. Could they not be accidents after all? Absolutely not! Psst! Alex! Psst! What? What do you want? I just wanted to look at your lovely face. Leave me alone! Alex! Lily Austin! Sir, that is so insensitive. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Nick Birch, sir, stop it. Oh, I'm so, guys, I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, Jane Coleman. Yes, sir. Leah Derbyshire. Yes, sir. Oh my God, I've got it! Jess, pipe down. Will Thomas eat the register? What's the register? Yes, it's the register. Like we do every lesson. What are you talking about? It's the register, it's the register! It's the register! Oh. oh! I don't get it. Neither do I. Oh my god, that's so scary! Who's being a mask? Is it you? Tim? Tyrone? You're so creepy. Oh, please don't hurt me. It's actually kind of gross that you're pretending to be a psycho when there's been two deaths in the school than last week. Okay, that's scary. Stop it. Stop! Wait, was it you? Was it you?
Were you just asleep? Oh, it was lovely to lose your sleep. Did you not get enough sleep last night? Were you scared of the scary killer? Jane is dead. I think we're all scared. Lily Austin. Oh my god, he's so insensitive. Oh, oof. Nick Birch. Sir, stop it. They're not here. Jane Coleman. They're not here. Leah Derbyshire. Yes, sir. There you go. Point proved. What do you mean? It's happening in register order. First Lily Austin, then Nick Birch. Now Jane Coleman, and the next one is going to be... Leah Derbyshire. What are you saying about me? Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Jane texted me the other day saying she was so scared. She's the nicest girl in school. I miss Lily. I miss Jane. And I miss Nick. Do you actually miss Nick? You're pretty horrible. Jane was pretty annoying and all. Her voice was annoying, her personality was annoying. Pretty much everything about her was annoying. Yeah, I didn't like her either. I really hated Nick. Don't even get me started on Lily. I looked at him straight in the eyes. For a moment, I felt like I knew him. I mean, it was through a mask, so I couldn't actually see him. But I felt like I knew those eyes. Like, I saw him. It was like bonehead for when I was a kid. But it was just a dream. Well, yeah. So it's completely irrelevant. What was it? You say some weird stuff sometimes. You don't know who the killer is. Nobody does. Or even if there is a killer. But there is though. You know it. I know it. I'm just waiting until he strikes again. Or she. Could be one of the teachers. Mr. Roberts maybe. He looks dead angry most of the time. But then, so do you. What are you talking about? You get angry sometimes. You know you do. No, I don't. What about yesterday when Miss Fielding gave you a behaviour point? You looked so mad I thought you were going to hit her. Miss Fielding didn't give me a behaviour point. They even have yesterday. What are you talking about? Yes, she did when you swore at her. I didn't swear at her. We didn't even have yesterday. What are you talking about? Yes, we did. Check your timetable. What? What? We did. Wait. What day is it today? Are you okay? At half past three, Jane walked into the English block. Sources say that she was upset. Visibly so. She was crying. Okay, yes. She was crying. She spoke to a girl she didn't know. She was quite rude. Yes, but she was upset, so... Can we stick to the facts, please? She walked into English and that was the last anyone saw of her. Until the killer saw her. Until she fell down the stairs. Or was pushed. Or fell down the stairs. But more likely, she was pushed. You can't prove that. But well, we're trying to prove something happened to her because she is dead. Like all the others. Dead. Murdered. Or they're all just a series of unfortunate accidents. If that's the case, then this is the most unluckiest school in the world. Three deaths in a week. Unconnected. Don't be ridiculous. I've always doubted the health and safety regulations here. This has nothing to do with health and safety. It's to do with a murderer. People don't just kill people at high school. Oh, really? Well, maybe you'll be next. Wow, that's a bit intense. Oh, I'll be next, will I? I'll show them that stupid psycho killer. There's absolutely no way that I will be next. and I just saw him in the corridor wearing a school mask. They were right. Leah, I need to go to my music lesson. I'm gonna be late. Please stay with me! Stay with you. You're a nasty cowboy who says cool things to me and my friends. Find your own way to class. You're late. Shut up, Lee. You've been hanging out with Smoke Breath again, haven't you? I was gonna say you look upset, but who cares, Cal? Well, I was gonna call you a loser. So we're even. Thank God you turned up, Leah. I thought Jess said, I thought you was gone. You thought we could have got you at all? Well, he didn't. Are you okay? You look a bit shaken up. Well, everyone, leave me alone. I'm fine. I was only asking. Do you think it's our year? Do you think it's our year? No! Do you think it's our year? No! Yeah. She knows right, I think she's seen the killer. Is that true? Did you see him? Or her? What do you look like? What are you scary? What do you wear in your mask? What's up? An actual mask? What do you look like? What is it scary? Was it a devil or a zombie? A 
skull, actually. A skull? That's original. Oh, Harry! You know what you can do, though, because we haven't seen him. Well, if I ever see him, I'm going to rip that man straight to face and show you all who he is. I'd like to see you try. If I ever see him, I'll be running the air opposite direction. Oh, come and scared. We're all scared, Tim. I'm not scared at all. I don't want to die. I'm scared. Oh my god, stop being so insensitive. It's not you, but you have already died. Well, I sincerely hope that it's Leah that's next. Excuse me, how do we know it's not you? Guys! They're more towards each other. Oh my god, please don't be so mean! Oh my god, go read a book or something! Guys! I'm so sick of all this! I'm sick of all of you! The gas is on, guys, listen to me! You're so pathetic. Oh, why don't you go out and see the rat or something? It's all the cool kids smoke. Because you're so cool. Cooler than you are. What the hell just happened? I can't believe it. The science plot just exploded. What do you mean? The science plot just blew up. It must be the gas or something. What? Our class was all in there. Oh my god, what the hell is going on in this school? We had such a lucky escape. Hang on. Why weren't you in class? I... I was going to my, I was going to my, um, I don't know where I was going actually. I was going to my class but I don't know where I was going. Drama can make you forget things. I can't believe that just happened to everyone. Leo Derbyshire is hardly a loss. But I always liked Callum. I think in another life we could have been friends. Elizabeth is a sweetheart and Alana too. I can't believe they're just. Toast. And poor Millie. She was so upset by Lily's death. She was seeing the school counsellor and everything. I had to go to a psychiatrist when I was younger. My mum thought I had schizophrenia, but they couldn't find any evidence of it. What's schizophrenia? It's when two people living inside your head at once. I had this imaginary friend when I was younger. I have a picture of him in my bag for God knows reasons why. Here, let me show you. I used to call him Bonehead because he, used to, he would do such silly things. He would tell me to do things and get me into trouble. And then one day, he just stopped coming. He needs to get out of it. Jess had a theory before she died that the killer was working in register order. My surname's Williams, so I'm last on the list. But yours is Jenkins, so why aren't you... Here it is. Bonehead. Is that Bonehead too? Oh my god. It looks just like him. Where did that come from? So they never diagnosed you as schizophrenic? You stopped going to a psychiatrist when Bonehead stopped appearing. But I still have these blackouts and I can't remember anything. But I still wonder if he still comes sometimes. Well, I just don't remember. Do you mind if I just take that mask to a teacher? No, you can't. Why not? I thought you said it isn't yours. It isn't, but you just can't. Alex? My name's not Alex, it's Alexander. I'm sorry, Alexander, I really am. Alexander isn't here anymore. It's Bonehead! to do this. You'll laugh from the register. I know my class is horrible. I've always been nice to you, Alex. I can't know what I remember my name. It's Alexander. They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well, I survived the health and safety nightmare that was my school. There were so many accidents that my parents thought it would be safer if I moved schools. And I started a fresh start somewhere else. I was really lucky to survive my old school, but at least I'm safe at my new school, where I have a fresh start with all my friends. Except, I can't remember much about them yet, because my blackouts are getting longer and becoming more frequent. And we'll never know if what happened was deliberate or a series of accidents. We'll never know.